for joining me today. I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I've got this gorgeous little project tutorial for you for this what I call an easy explosion box and I've decorated it with the in colour designer papers and I think it's got a decided the autumn feel to my colours today. It wasn't intentional but with my autumn leaf stamped with the uh, the um, stamping emboss copper copper emboss powder it probably has got an autumn feel and I'm going to show you how I made it today. So let's put that to one side. Today I'm going to make it in Perfect Plum and Rich Raspberry colours, another autumn shade. And for this box, you will need a piece of cardstock measuring 10 and 1 8 by 10 and 1 8 inches. And you will score it on all four sides at 3 and a half inches. The lid uses a piece of Rich Raspberry cardstock which measures 6 and 3 16 by 6 and 3 16 and that's scored on all four sides at one and a half inches. Then we've got four pieces of designer series paper for the side for the side of our lid here, and that measures one and a quarter inches by three inches, and you'll need four of those. And then I've used the layering squares frameless dies, and I've cut one out which measures three inches by three inches, one by two and five eighths by two and five eighths and one that measures two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that's all our pieces. So we are now going to score the main part of our card stock which measures ten and one eighth by ten and one eighth. And we are going to score that today on all four sides at three and a half inches. We've got the scoreboard out. We're going to score our lid, which measures six and three sixteenths by six and three sixteenths, and we're going to score that at one and a half inches on all four sides. So that's all our scoring done. Put the board away. Now we're going to fold and burnish the base of our box and I'm calling this a mini explosion box because I haven't put any glue around the outside but this I think is a, 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 a much quicker mini explosion box to some that I have seen and we're going to start off by the normal way of cutting up into all four sides by cutting off a little slither from each corner So that folds in like that, but we need to we need to um, cut off a half an inch 
from each from each of our end corner pieces. So we're going to measure a, a half an inch from the ends of each corner. I'm going to do this on all four corners. And then we're going to cut those little end pieces off. then our box just goes together like that and our lid just sits on the top so we'll make our lid and then I'll show you how that works so we're going to do the same and fold and burnish the score lines for our lid And then I'm going to put my pieces on the top. We'll start off with the side pieces and we're just going to get some, I'm just going to use some snail to stick those to our sides. I do like these two colours together, perfect plum and bit of jewellery. I think they look really nice together. Then we're going to put the top pieces on. I'm going to stick this on with some snail, this first piece of design series paper. And then I'm going to put these pieces on with dimensionals so that they stand up nicely. It gives a bit more dimension to the box.
stick that in the, in the middle there. That looks nice. And then this piece on the top. fast fuse to put my box lid together on all four corners. Oops. nice. So we put our box together. I've got this beautiful damson and pomegranate candle which as you can see completely matches the colours that I've used and so now we put the two flaps on the inside and bring the outer flap up and then the lid fits on over the top and of course, when you take the lid off, it falls down. And I call that my mini explosion box um, because it's just so much easier to make than some of the others that I've seen that do take a bit longer to make. And I think it's just as effective and pretty. I have now used the, to put it together, I've used this delightful Dijon, uh, which has got a lovely goldy colour look to it. And this is five eighths of an inch. And I've wrapped that round the top like that, tied it up underneath. Got a length off. that underneath and you need to do it so that you get it fairly flat knot and then back this way turn it back on itself ribbon underneath and tie off in a nice knot Before I cut the ends, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my leaf, which I've already embossed with the copper bossing powder, as I've said, on Whisper White cardstock. That's my leaf, and I'm making a little hole in that with my one eighth of an inch hole punch. And then I've got some gold one eighth of an inch ribbon which I'm going to thread through. And then cut a little length of that off. Like that. And then that I'm just going to thread round. I'm just going to untie this slightly, the knot, so that I can just push through my gold, thin gold ribbon. She says, all fingers and thumbs. That's it. And then tie that not tight on that thicker ribbon now and that's going to hold that nice and secure and then we're going to do a little knot at the top of this not that round that's 
happened to my other end. I've lost it. Let's do that again. Not that round. off and then that will tuck under the other ribbon and then what I've done is to give a nice edge to my ribbon fold it in half and cut off at an angle that way and when it opens out you've got some nice tails same on this side cut like that and you've got some nice tails and then to finish that off make that look even prettier I have cut out a little flower using the rich raspberry I've used my blossom bunch punch a bit of a mouthful and I've cut three little um, petals layers out and stuck them together with glue dots and then I've put a little rhinestone in the center and um, I'm, I've put a little dimensional on the back of that and we're just going to secure that onto the back we are when we can pull that off. Hmm. That's not going to work, is it? Get another dimension on. Right, that's got it. And the flower goes on the top there, and I flattened it out. So we're just going to lift that back up again with our fingers. And I think that looks really pretty. Maybe I should have done a little sentiment. I'll think about the little sentiment and maybe by the time you see it on my blog it'll have a sentiment on it as well. Anyway that's my project for today and I hope you enjoyed that. All details on my blog. Um, thank you for joining me today and until the next time it's bye for now. Bye.